Before we move to the waste accumulation and disposal models, let's go to consider one last uh, uh, aspect uh, of uh, what we discussed uh, so far, uh, the decay rate of the pollution stock. Throughout this lesson, what we did is that we considered uh, what we call the alpha in our model uh, to be constant. That is, doesn't matter how much uh, uh, pollutant we was putting into the atmosphere, a constant rate of uh, uh, that pollutant would have been uh, uh, decay uh, by, natural, by, by nature. And this implies that in, uh, we are assuming an unlimited carrying capacity of, uh, of the environment. So no matter how much we, we pollute, this can always be uh, 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 transformed uh, in uh, the, the, the pollutant can be uh, uh, decay, can decay at a constant uh, uh, proportions. Well, while this one is an assumption that is very common, it is also something that is not very often to be reasonable because uh, very often uh, uh, this decay rate depends on the size of, uh, of the, po the pollutions. And uh, very often uh, there exists a threshold effect and the problem of irreversibilities. That is, when uh, we pollute over certain levels, then even if we switch back to uh, lower level of environmental pressure or lower level of pollutions, still the, the, the environment, uh, the system doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't go back to the pre-pollution level. That is the history of the uh, pollutant flow uh, ma matters. And we, when this happens, we, we, we take the name, we name it, uh, but hysteresis uh, uh, process uh, exists. So, because uh, uh, often this, uh, this assumption of unlimited carrying capacity is not uh, uh, a valid uh, assumption, uh, we need to model uh, this decay of pollution uh, in, uh, in another way. In particular, the this model uh, consider uh, explicitly the amount of carbon into three uh, box carbon cycle models, uh, that is uh, uh, three main uh, carbon sinks, uh, the atmosphere, the upper ocean biosphere, and the deep oceans. And uh, if we take this uh, we 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 see this this uh, this um, this figure this representation of uh, these three uh, things. Uh, they are uh, put to together because the exchange is relatively um, high between uh, these three reservoirs. Uh, well, what is really, well, here, this is a little bit different than what the DICE model uh, uh, represent. This is another representation. This is taken from the um, EPCC, uh, I don't remember, it's the fourth or the fifth uh, uh, assessment report. Uh, so on one side, the atmosphere, the terrestrial biosphere and the oceans, they all exchange carbon in uh, high quantities compared with the, the reserve oils. Uh, so here, for example, every year the ocean uh, uh, exchange 78 petagrams of carbon toward the atmosphere, but it takes 80 uh, petagrams. And so we, uh, it absorbs uh, 1.6 petagrams of carbon each year. And so does the terrestrial bi biosphere. Here in red is the human intervention. So even with uh, uh, deforestation and land use change that imply a uh, human-induced 
increase in the carbon that is released throughout the, the atmosphere from terrestrial biosphere. Still, even considering this one, the terrestrial biosphere is currently uh, uh, taking uh, 2.3 petagrams of, of, uh, of carbon from the atmosphere. But what is really different is here, here in the lithosphere is where there are the fossil fuels and the, by nature, by volcanic eruption and, 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 and uh, other geological process, this will exchange very little carbon with, with the atmosphere, just 0.1 petagrams. But the extraction and burning of fossil fuels made by humans is the bigger is the bigger, how to say, uh, increase of carbon in, in the atmosphere. And uh, this one is called the slow domain and is something separate from what is called the, the, the fast domain because is in nature, this reservoir is very uh, separate from, it doesn't exchange much carbon with the other uh, free sinks of, uh, of carbons. So when we burn fossil fuels, we move some carbon from the lithosphere to the atmosphere, that is from the slow domain to the fast domain. When, however, we plant a new forest or we uh, increase the stockage of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of carbon in the soil, what we do is that we leave carbon from here, the atmosphere, toward to the terrestrial biosphere. But it remains always here within the fast domain. So when we compare uh, and when we say that we mitigate uh, uh, carbon emissions through carbon sequestrations, it's not exactly the same things because we are not, uh, uh, we are, in the first case, we are moving from slow domain to the first domain, but in the second case, we remain here. What we put here in the forest in the next, uh, few decades or few centuries will go back to the to the atmosphere and so storing carbon in in, uh, in the forest is somehow like uh, sweeping the dirt under the carpet we are quickly removing we may quickly remove carbon from uh, from the from the atmosphere but we are keeping still here in the fast domain where uh, easily will go back to our uh, atmosphere in a relatively short amount of time. So it is essential, the framework of interest. If we are uh, interested in the next few decades, even storing and uh, we are in an emergency situation, we are guests coming, even sweeping the dirt under the carpet can be an efficient strategy, but it cannot be the only strategies to deal with climate change. And here I present some results from uh, some simulations of our specific models that deal with the French fo forest. And uh, without entering much in the details, this in green is the uh, sequestration of, uh, of carbon in, in, the, in the forest, the amount of carbon that is sequestrated in the forest. And here in blue is the carbon that can be substituted uh, using uh, uh, wood instead of uh, of other materials or instead of uh, burning fossil fuels for for uh, producing heat and he you can see here that initially the 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 amount of carbon that can be stored in the forest increase because uh, French forests are relatively young so uh, they have still uh, uh, space to to grow they can still grow but then more and more uh, as time pass, this capacity of forest to stock more carbon decline till eventually will will reach uh, a, a peak where no more carbon can be stored uh, in the forest and uh, there is a in more in general a large scientific evidence that the pool of forest across europe and across the world is starting to become uh, saturated and uh, hence what we spoke about this uh, uh, capacity or of uh, of uh, uh, bio uh, of of um, uh, this capacity of the terrestrial biosphere to uh, take uh, 
uh, part of uh, what we emit to the atmosphere this will this 2.3 is uh, destined to decrease uh, with uh, with time and as well for the oceans where by the way there are it create other problems like the acidifications of uh, oceans the water is because of the carbons that is becoming more and more saturated in in uh, in co2 oceans are uh, becoming more and more acids and this leads to further problems